to show you how to make a case right now in 2021. Um, again, it changes all the time. They try to make it harder and harder to make cases on Amazon to get help from seller support. Now, uh, if you're just trying to find out information, generally seller support is not the right thing to do, uh, not the right place to go. You want to find, uh, just go on YouTube, go on uh, the help and whatnot. So if you do need help from seller support, which there are many things you need help from, you want to click right now on this help button. It'll take you to this page. Then you go to get support. Boom. Now you want to really, again, uh, if it's about sponsored products, you want to click here. If it's anything else, you click here. And then you describe the issue. In this case, I'm going to say, I need help to, uh, let's say, need help. Please tell me what is wrong with ASIN, you know, um, and then you put your ASIN, whatever that is. And then you're going to say, uh, this product, um, it is showing inactive, but I have uh, inventory in stock. Okay, whatever it is. Okay, you're going to continue. Now, in this case, uh, a lot of times they're going to tell you, um, determine why things not displaying. Okay. Um, this is, they have this because this is a very common issue that they face and they have a tool, you put it in here and it figures it out. Now, if you know that whatever solution they're giving you here is not what you need, you just say, continue, contact us, here we go. And then this contact reason, um, sometimes we'll say random stuff. Uh, in this case, if it is a stranded inventory or whatever it is, like they're gonna kind of maybe guess from what, what's here, um, then you leave that. But sometimes they might just say like other account issues. Um, again, if I made, if I did a very a different problem here, they would have had a different suggestion. And this would just say that, which does not help anybody. You want to help the Amazon people uh, who are helping you uh, on the account. Who are basically when someone is assigned to this ticket, they're going to look at it. Now, if they can just see in the subject line what it's about, that'll be helpful. If they say here, um, you know, ASIN suspended or something, they might have to send it to a different person um, to review it. So if you put this contact reason there, it will help a lot. Uh, put any FNSQ or anything right here, that'll be awesome. And then um, here you have the email, um, or you could tell them to contact you by phone and for it to be urgent or whatever, then you send it. Then when you go to your case log, um, you'll have it here. You will have that ASIN um, uh, shown in your case log, which will be way, way, way helpful uh, when you're looking through it or uh, for Amazon to look at look at this. So when you make a case, I really suggest to set this contact reason to be a readable thing when you submit it. And um, anyway, that's how you make a case. Hopefully that helps. Thank you guys.